Do you want to talk about a birth chart of someone who was literally born to be famous? Today we're going to go over the most naturally successful birth chart I have ever seen. And no one has guessed it yet, so... One more time, can you guess who it is? None other than living legend Paul McCartney. In my opinion, any band that had this member was destined for international fame. And I'm about to show you why. But just take a moment to take in the shape of it. We can see that no planets are falling below the horizon line besides Neptune, which is still in a very visible place conjuncting the ascendant in the first house. Someone with no planets below the horizon line is going to live their life and learn all of their lessons publicly. Given that we don't have any planets below the horizon line besides this Neptune, he also didn't have any oppositions or personal matters that were ever going to pull him out of the spotlight. But of course it goes so much deeper than that. We have a Virgo ascendant conjuncting Neptune which rules media, but his chart is ruled by this Mercury up here retrograde in Gemini. Now this very nice domicile Mercury placement is also ruling his midheaven. In the sign of Gemini, he was destined to write and express himself through art, but being retrograde, there was an incessant need to do just this. Now we get the musical talent when we see this beautiful sextile very close to his moon. In Leo, the sign of fame in the 11th house of fame. But of course, there's more. Sun conjuncting the midheaven mean that he will be seen for his creativity and expression. Also a great fame indicator. But we also have Jupiter, exalted in its favorite sign to be in, Cancer, conjuncting the sun, conjuncting the midheaven from the 10th house. Jupiter with the sun like this in the 10th house is an unbelievably lovable personality. People just want to have them around and give them opportunities. He definitely gets by with a little help from his friends. Venus also being here in Taurus in the ninth house, trining to the Ascendant in Neptune. Both the benefics in very public places, being well placed, this is so nice. We also have Saturn and Uranus conjunct in the ninth house of publishing and international travel. Once he shared his Mercury message, retrograde Mercury in Gemini, ruling his chart and his midheaven, conjuncting his midheaven, he shot to international fame, ninth house. The ninth house isn't often considered to be a fame indicator, but considering that it rules all things international, this does show international fame. This is, it's all here. Ruler of the 11th house of fame, conjuncting the midheaven in an exalted Jupiter, this is... But we also see Mars and Pluto very closely conjunct here in Leo. In the 11th house, this is someone who will be seen and worshipped for their creativity. Pluto and Mars doing something that has never been done before, through his creative self-expression, Leo, forever altering the landscape of bands and music. Never with more confidence have I seen a chart and known that that soul intended to be internationally famous before. Thank you for your contributions, Paul. You're amazing.